how do we start optimizing our settings? So the way we do it is as follows. We can either take a snapshot by clicking this button or look at the sample live by clicking on this. So I'm going to start by taking a snapshot to walk you through what the window that uh, pops up looks like. So I'm going to click here and you can see uh, having taken the snapshot, there doesn't really seem to be much in the field of view. So let me increase the exposure to see if we can pick something else up. So I've increased it from 100 to 1,000. I'm going to snap another image. So now we see something, though it is obviously out of focus. If you don't see anything at all, you should check, and these are uh, there are instructions on the wall for the things to check, that uh, the arm of the microscope is down, that the blocker to the eyepiece is engaged, that the microscope is sending the light to the camera, that you are on uh, turret position number one, and that the slider that selects between cameras is set to the proper position. So all that is true right now. So I know that what's going on here is really that I am uh, not in focus. So to focus dynamically, to make it easier for me to do this, instead of using uh, this button, which snaps an image, I'm going to use this button, which allows me to look live at an image. So I'm going to click on that, and then I'm going to, uh, once I see the live view, adjust the focus until things are more easily visible. Now, because I have an exposure time of 1,000, uh, it'll look like it's updating kind of sluggishly. but you can see that now I am in focus. So let me stop the live either by clicking here or by pressing the F2 button. And let's discuss the information that's present in this kind of window. Uh, so now if I click on snap, we are going to actually get uh, an image of something. Uh, and so we can look at this in a little bit more detail and discuss what information this image has and what adjustments we can make here to make it easier for us to find things. So uh, first of all, by using the scroll wheel on the mouse, we can either zoom in or zoom out. So that's uh, sort of a very useful, quick way of resizing the window. Second, by clicking here, we can display things in whatever mode we want. So right now, um, the way we're displaying things is depending on their wavelength. Uh, a very uh, convenient way of looking at things when you're trying to optimize your settings is to look at monochrome, where it's a grayscale. The advantage of this is it's sort of very easy to pick up uh, very subtle changes by eye. Um, in addition, you can see that uh, to the image, we have a few things here on the side of the image. We have this strip which goes from black to white and has two triangles. We have this thing, which is actually a histogram uh, of the pixel values in the image on their side. I'll go into that later. And then we have this button, which has A and 12. So what are all of these? How do they all interact? And how can we make those things work for us uh, to allow us to see uh, the image a little bit more clearly? So the key insight here to understand is that any image acquired by a microscope is really a bunch of numbers arranged in a matrix, a spatial matrix. So if I move this cursor anywhere through this image, if you look down here, these numbers indicate the X and Y position of the cursor, as well as uh, the intensity of the uh, uh, sort of the pixel that I'm pointing at on a scale that for this camera, for the Hamamatsu Flash 4, goes from zero to around 65,000. So if I place the cursor here, if you look down there, you'll see that that value of intensity is 101, which is very close to uh, the dark value of the camera, which is not zero, but it's, it's a number between 90 and 100. Uh, so you can see that there's effectively no light hitting the camera uh, in the location represented by this pixel. However, if I put my cursor here, you can see that that value uh, is now significantly higher. It's 476, which also uh, visually shows up as uh, a very bright white area in the image. 
Okay, so the software is constantly taking all of the numbers in the image and changing them into a specific color. The way it does that is according to this relationship here. So what the software does is it says, okay, all of the values that are very low are going to be these dark colors, so this sort of black and dark gray, and all of the values that are high are going to be this white color or uh, these higher grays. And it goes linearly from these black values, from, from these uh, dark uh, values with low numbers to these um, bright colors with higher values. Right now, uh, to make it more convenient, uh, the software is set to auto scale. So it decides automatically how it needs to do that scaling uh, for us to be able to see a nice image. And, and that is set here if we click on image scale. This auto scale means that the software is just adjusting that for display purposes. It's not changing the data, but for display purposes, it's adjusting that so that we get a visually pleasant image. That is the reason that if I lower the exposure, what we'll see is that the image will retain its brightness, but it just might get noisier. So let's try that. So the exposure right now is 1,000. If what I said is true and we lower it to 500, the image should not get dimmer. It might get noisier in a noticeable way. So I'm going to take another snapshot. And so you can see um, that that looks about the same. It's just a little bit more grainy. And if I then lower this another sort of factor of 2 to 250 um, and go to monochrome. Again, you can sort of tell that this is a noisier image, but the absolute brightness is very similar. The other thing you might have noticed is that this number was changing. So what is this number? And what is this pattern that we're seeing here? Uh, so what this is is the following. This is a histogram of all the pixel intensities in the image placed on its side on a scale that goes from 0 down here to 2 to whatever power is in this box right here. So if you click on this button, you'll see that uh, it says best fit range. So what it's trying to do is fit uh, a range in which to put the histogram. And that's an 8-bit range, a 10-bit, a 12-bit, a 14, or a 16-bit range. And that just means that it's trying to fit it uh, into a scale that goes from 0 to 2 to the 8, uh, actually minus 1 because it goes uh, you know, from 0 uh, to 2 to the 10, to 2 to the 12, to 2 to the 14, or to 2 to the 16. And it decides automatically how to show those things to us. But obviously, if we increase the exposure from, for example, 250 to 1,000, we expect the intensity of light of this image to increase by about 4. And you'll see that when we take a snapshot, now we're in the 12-bit scale because all of our pixels grew and the software determined that this was a better way to show us uh, the, uh, the histogram.